for example, if I'm if I'm like sitting down reading my phone or if I'm Hey y'all, how's it going? <sighs> oh, let's get that out of my nose. There we go. Okay, let's see. Alright. Changed up some monitors today, so still trying to get stuff uh back working. Um, I don't look like I have anybody. Um, I was hoping some people might come out, but if not, that's fine. We'll have fun anyway. So... So what we're doing today is we're going to um, start from scratch and we're going to do an Adobe uh, 5e deal. So you'll notice, so I made a stream folder uh, if people drop in by the end of this and anybody wants um, access or to like look at the, what's going on in the files and everything. I, I put it in a, its own Dropbox folder so I can share that. Um, so I'm starting out with literally just two things. I'm starting out with this a parchment background uh, and uh, some Lorem Ipsum te text and that's that's it. Um, Alright, let's see. In design, uh, we're also going to start up Adobe Photoshop here in a second. I'm going to start up both of them. So some of the things I want to start to uh, want to kind of walk through today. Um, I think I put this out there somewhere, but um, so master pages. Um, let's see. I wasn't going to go through table of contents. I'm not really. I mean, I'm. I'm decent at this but I mean there's still I'm a little out of practice um, so I'm gonna walk through the stuff that let's see placing images um, folder structure um, let's see yeah so Photoshop stuff um, paragraph styles is a huge thing so I want to walk through and yeah we'll, uh, we'll kind of start right there those are the things that I like to walk through and see what's going on. Um, all right, so let's, without any further ado, let's start here. Well, that looks good. All right. 
so here's uh, here's kind of our basic thing. Um, I know I said this about Adobe, but I do kind of want to, and since there's no one else here yet, um, let's go ahead and create new. So we're going to make a backdrop for this. Let's go ahead and make this 300 PPI, uh, DPI, PPI, whatever. One last thing we need to do, we need to open this thing. Where's my toolbar? Yeah, this kind of stuff throws me off. I don't know where my toolbar is. So what I want to do is I want to make this a pattern. I'm pretty sure this is seamless, but we're about to find out. And I got this from uh, textures.com. So what we want to do Want to uh, make this we can actually do a couple of a couple of variations on this um, I'm gonna do something else here too I'm gonna put a layer in front of it You know these these backgrounds. Um, there we go. That'll work. And I'm doing this in order to uh, I'm doing this in order to make the master pages. Um, part of the master pages is going to be setting this up. So, all right. Um, and then, if we want to do some other fun stuff, like um, we can ground. I 
and then we can also do like I have some fun brushes and all these are from uh, brush easy is the name of the site and you can purchase commercial rights and all that um, How's everyone else's day going? I don't think there's anyone out there yet. There we go. Everybody's at PAX. Do something like that. Blood splatters. All right, so let's save. Let's go back to this. All right, so so pages. So up here we have master pages, and it, it depends upon you know which one. Like if you want to do a two two binding or something like that. Um, we're just going to use this one page for right now, I think. So I'm going to go here. Let's see if I can do this. There's also a place function, but dragging and dropping work pretty much the same. There we go. So this is now going to be in the background, and anything else I want in the background is going to be there too. second. Yeah, it's defaulting to, uh, yeah, y'all gonna sit here and work on me. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's what I wanted. So I changed it to, it was the facing pages, so like a book, book style is how it was set up, and I turned that off. Um, Alright, so there we go. So now we have our basic little deal here. Um, let's go ahead and start with that uh, so paragraph styles um, over here so this is the text function right here um, so title so h1 content h2 h3 h4 is probably as much as we need um, title there we go um, and what let's see what I'm gonna pull out my Eberron book real quick here flip to the back and look at some of the monster templates yeah so it looks like um, our t our titles are serif and the text is all sans serif and of course you can do, you know, you can set this stuff up however you want, um, but it's just kind of... Um, and so, yeah, this is the paragraph styles, and I think you can also access it through here. Um, but that's this is paragraph styles, especially when you if you're doing like a long document or want a bunch of stuff to stay the same. It's pretty necessary to set up um, 
paragraph styles. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. Oh, pa yeah. God. Papyrus. Um, is Palatino in here? I'm a pretty big fan of Palatino. And then you could do a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, you could like mess with the spacing, like if you wanted it to if you want to like space it out, you can do that. One other thing we want to do here, uh, and then I'm going to walk through, like, we're going to go back to master pages here in a second and look at some other stuff, but this is just sort of the basics. Um, let's see. Character color. And then if we wanted to use, like, a specific color, we can. Um, This doesn't have a swatches uh, window like uh, like Photoshop does. Let's figure out how I'm trying to figure out how we get a new color here. There's a way to do it. There we go. That's my swatches. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, this is all set to uh, CYMK, which is the standard for printing, but you can, like, you can uh, change that if you want to do it in another, uh, in another thing. Uh, but CMYK is just sort of the print standard, and that's, so that's what InDesign, by default, is trying to do everything for print. All right, so there we go. Uh, and this is, let's see how big this is. Going back to pair character styles real quick. Oh, there we go. So whenever you uh, click on something, you're going to see what it's currently set at. Uh, and this becomes a uh, bigger and uh, becomes sort of a big deal in larger projects but so now we're going to do H1 um, I'm going to make that actually a little bigger Go. 
page one based on title okay and we're going to do the same here So all this is doing is just sort of, I'm sort of setting up uh, my structure here. So let's do um, so basic paragraph. Um, what do we want? I'm fine with minion. Um, this, all right. So let's go ahead and open up. Object placing, so yeah, let's do this. Um, get the rulers up here, up top. And if anybody shows up, I'm happy to. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's you know this isn't. Not digging on this uh, Lucida Sands. It's basic aerial. I almost feel lazy using basic aerial. But there's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it basic aerial is fine. If you don't, you know, why well, just stick with Calibri? Um, so one thing I like to, to do on um, the, the default um, hyphenation is pretty extreme, so I usually just turn it off. So there we go. Um, Alright, so now let's Let's uh, take some of the stuff that we've sort of learned, um, and then let's uh, let's make another um, So let's sort of take what we've learned and apply it real quick, or what I've walked through. So let's go to master pages here. And uh, and we can put something here. Go to, so we put... Um, so 
So then select that, and now we have this. Let's go ahead and add a um, insert object. All right, where is it? Um, There we go, special character. Maybe I have to have a text box open first. this wherever we want. Um, normally I would center this, but seeing as um, I checked off the two-pager, probably actually don't want to center it. And then up here we can justify, we can decide how we want that to, we can make it center aligned and all that. Now if we go back to pages, we go back here, there we go, and template by Mr. Valor, and all that. So and then I can even, uh, if I want to, go back up here, find my handy dandy um, Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, so one thing to note is that if you just drag stuff, uh, you're actually dragging the frame um, on images by default in InDesign, which is different from some other Adobe products. So in order to like resize the whole thing, uh, you either need to there it goes. Um, I think there's a different tool that does that, but you can also I think it's hold control. Yep, there we go. And if you hold control shift it'll also lock aspect ratio so that you don't, you know, make it look all funky. And then I can drop this just wherever I want. That'll work. All right, so there we go. So now we have a homebrew template. Um, so H1s, H2s, H3s, uh, H4s. Um, all right. So that's sort of, that's really the basics already. Um, let's see. Oh, we've got a few other little things to cover though. Okay, so we have that. Um, and then, so what happens when there's too much content? Well then this little thing right here pops up and it grabs our overflow text. This is a pretty important feature if you're doing this, uh, if you have a multi-page document, this is super helpful. Go. 
let's see. Yep. All right, to make new pages, uh, we can go to the page thing and do that. Um, and we can, uh, we can do this uh, across pages if we want. Uh, anyway, those are just, that's sort of the basics of, uh, of InDesign, is really that right there. Um, so one important thing to note is, uh, so aside from text, uh, any images or anything that you use um, are linked and they stay linked. So you need to make sure they stay in your file structure or your, your folder. Um, so yeah, so this right here, uh, anything that I use needs to stay in here. And actually, we should probably go ahead and save this. Yeah, uh, if it gets moved out of the place where it's linked, um, Adobe gets a little cranky about that. Yeah, but really, I mean that—that's sort of the basics right there. Uh, the the. Uh, yeah, boy, that went way faster than I thought it was going to. And then you can, yeah, you can move stuff around. Uh, as you do this, the overflow text is going to go wherever you want. Um, yeah, and then uh, we, then you can start making like uh, like call out or boxes and stuff like that. Um, so one thing to note about this, if I go in here. And I, for example, why is that so light? That's what's going on. But if I go in here and do this and then click save. have a little notification up there which says hey this file the source document is is, uh, is different now and I click that and now it updates um, and this is uh, I guess another kind of basic thing for um, that's all I'm covering right now is just going through some basics real quick and then uh, can go to um, overview print and then display performance or no wait screen mode there we go preview and this will show you what it's actually going to look like when it gets exported I mean that that looks pretty good um I haven't really done like a monster block I guess I could do a monster block um that's a little darker than I'd want So I might put those blood splatters back there behind that, that deal. Uh, and then if you really want to get, if we really want to get kind of like artsy with this, we can go into here and make a layer mask. And then uh, we can take, I like the crack brushes. I mean, they're cracks, not like crack. Come on, y'all. But we could, uh, we could even do this kind of stuff if we wanted to.
for some reason it's not saying that uh, that a new version is out there. There we go. Oh, and maybe because I also have this set up for uh, screen mode, I have to go back to normal. There we go. Now it sees it. that effect but I think it was too much Kind of busy, but yeah, it's a little busy. All right, let's go back. So let's, um, so we have that, oh, oh, layers do exist, <clears throat> but there's not very many, uh, there's not nearly as many, and, uh, like, it's, it's just not as prominent of a feature in InDesign as it is in, like, Photoshop, where if you're in Photoshop, you use layers just constantly. mistake here. This thing needs to go to a different layer. Probably is a shortcut for just transferring stuff from layer to layer. I just don't know what it is. There we go. So as you can see, stuff that's in particular layers on the master pages still interacts. Um, with the stuff that's not in the master pages. All right, so let's... Um, Let's move this up. So here's a call out box. Oh, let's put that on the text layer.
map style, um, whatever deal we want. Grab some placeholder text here. Um, and then if we want to, we can you can do things like uh, uh, make a smaller text for the callout boxes and things like that. You can turn those into the, whoops. can do a um, clear all overrides there we go because sometimes you, you'll actually override your your stuff with another stuff centered here. Oop, that's too much space. Go, okay, that looks good. It still feels like a whole bunch of space. Yeah, that's probably more like it. So, and remember that uh, fun stuff that's gone from up here? So if we want to, we can actually grab that and toss that down here now. Um, and then we, we could add, if we want to, we can add a little, we can go here and we can click on effects and we can make like a little drop shadow or something if we want um, Just however you want to do it. Hey, what's up, city? Man, I've been been pretty lonely. I arrived late. This I can't debate. Um, you know, yeah. I mean, I I did um kind of did what I wanted to do. I made a little. Uh, this is all from scratch. I started out with uh, I started out with this little. Uh, this content with some lorem ipsum and uh, this texture, uh, a, a, a seamless texture that I got off, got off textures.com, and uh, I made uh, a couple of Photoshop files and I made a little little template here, um, and then from this you can add. Uh, so I was thinking about maybe trying to do a stat block here real quick, like a fake stack stat block, but I've got everything set up and in uh, paragraph styles and I have a, a master sheet um, and all that stuff which is all the basics kind of stuff that you want slash need um, I'm not going to get into tables and stuff just because I don't really know it but perhaps I can atone for leaving you alone oh my god man what are you on today what are you on today that's okay I missed your stuff uh, this weekend so uh, so there we go. Uh, a 
wild city. Let's see. Um, so let's go ahead and do... What's your alignment, city? I got a new follower and even a new player for DDO. Oh, awesome, man. I, that's awesome. All right, so we probably want to make a style for for some of this stuff. Some of it you have to, or at least I haven't figured out how to do it, uh, not manually, but um, this we can, we can like do italic um, and all that. Let's see. Probably. So that you have a couple of different ways. We have a couple of different ways we can do this. We can do it manually. If you set up, so if you set up like a text, uh, obviously we could do uh, duplicate style. So basic bold and go here to characters and then uh, font style bold. The problem is that when you do that, uh, if I do like, um, this it's gonna grab everything in that entire line um, and maybe there's a, an InDesign person out there who knows better than me how to deal with that oh but we also want we don't want these just to be basic bold we want these to be uh, bold with color And we can set up um, spacing if we want. Usually I do spacing around headers. Let's see if this works correctly. Edit H1. Dense and spacing. I'm a little curious why um, because that should have gone. <clears throat> Then it looks like um, ah, it's just that. That mark is a header somehow. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> um, chaotic good. 
Uh, neutral good. You, you're lawful good. So lawful good. Let's see. Hit points. Let's give you 30 hit points. 18. Or no, what is it? 20. Plate mail. And shield. I don't know if that is cur like the standard language. I'd have to look that up real quick. Yeah, now. So that's going to be. Plate mail, comma shield. All right, the uh, the stat blocks, uh, the attributes get a little wonky here. And let's go ahead and make sure that we have this on. There we go. On the right layer, so we're going to have to insert a table. I don't even remember how to do to be perfectly honest with you. Um, oh, there we go. It's right there at the top. Insert table. Uh, so we need six columns. Uh, how many rows do we need? We need one, two. We just need two rows. Okay, and then we are probably going to need a new paragraph style for this. And whenever, whenever uh, I recommend if whoever's watching this, if anybody watches this, um, yeah, keep keep examples of what's what this stuff looks like um, nearby. I'm giving you a low wisdom because you hang out with me. Let's see. Let's sword and board. All right. So yeah, one one of the reasons why I did this is I want to be able to grab all these. that now there's something going on here as far as this table goes we do a little bit of formatting on this real quick and then um, orders none There's 
there's still one in the middle. Um, let's see if we, we can get rid of that. See, <clears throat> I've never worked with InDesign, so this is fascinating. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. So I just, I figured I'd do it and see what happened. And uh, if anybody watches it, maybe I'll do something again uh, with it later. get rid of that stuff. Okay, now I'm starting to like, how the fuck do I get rid of that damn thing? There it is. I bet that's it. No, that's not it. Oh shit. I'm running out of uh of things to turn off. turned off everything I can think of to turn off. Oh well, it's possible to do it. I just don't know how to do it. I'm not going to waste forever messing around with it right now. Um, And just like a word, it does have like a distribute columns evenly thing to make sure that's all done. All right, so there we go. Um, So now we go back to basic paragraph. Um, oh wait, no, we still we're still going to be text with color. Skills. Um, do you have any resistances, immunities, or vulnerabilities, uh, city?
basic ASMR resistances. What are I don't I don't know what those are. Um, there we go. Yeah, I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't even know, but acid and cold are indeed, um, cold, uh, there's no electricity, it's lightning and thunder now. So one thing to note on these abilities, this stuff is going to be bold italic. Probably also make this this font smaller. Um, although maybe that's fine. All right, we do want to make. Um, So one, if this is uh, an H2, we want an actions. Uh, monster, or what are we gonna call this? Stat block subheading. And for this one, and take underline options. Um, actually, I think we want borders. Paragraph border. So we want just one on the bottom. And we want our color that we've been using. And for uh, <clears throat> for reference, uh, I am I'm looking at my Eberron um, V8. 
and my Eberron book for reference on this stuff. So that'd be, that's going to be an average of 7, so 4.5 rounded down, um, plus 3. So, and then this is going to be bold italic. This is italic. And, uh, yeah. There's a little there's a little stat block, um, and then we'll take here under layers. Let's go here to the top. Um, And now we have a little city uh, stat block here. Let's see, the eight uh, plus eight, so that's going to be nine, eighteen, um, twenty-six, <clears throat> and then whatever. There is there is language around uh, divine smite in one of the. I think it's the priest stat block where they get like something similar to that. But yeah. So now we have uh, yeah, now we have two pages. We've got a call out box. Um, we have and yep, some overflow text that we can put here. And yeah, I mean, it's not, uh, let's do an export. Plus five holy sort of annoyance. All right, but I mean, yeah, I mean, we did, and yeah, so this, uh, there's a way to set this up so that that, uh, that can't overlap the logo. There's a way to do that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Fun times. Uh, yeah, I think I would. There's a way to keep that text from overlapping the logo. I just don't remember how to do it. Off the top of my head. But what we can do... Actually, let's take that. But also... Let's put it on a top layer.
also for a uh, title. I think titles need to be something like that. If we want to, yeah, we could. I mean, we could put like images or stuff over here if we wanted to. Just whatever. Anyway, uh, click on the pi picture and choose wrap. Wrap. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Uh, There's a way fitting. No, it's the, one of the problems with uh, one reason why I was figured I'd stream this um, is just to uh, just kind of walk through this stuff real quick. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's, there's some other way. I just don't know how. I, I just don't know how to do it off the top of my head. There's so many options in InDesign. It's kind of like a, an overload. But yeah, anyway, that's what we have. We have... Um, uh, we've got some paragraph styles uh, set up right here so we can switch back and forth. We've got uh, like a, a basic paragraph but text with color. Um, we've got over here in pages, we have a master page that's set up and I have it, I have this set up to be just one, um, page, not, not facing pages, but we could do that too. Um, but yeah, we have a page number here in the middle and then I went ahead and made a little stat block, uh, a wild city. Um, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I wanted to do today, y'all. So I wasn't planning on doing anything else. Um, I, I'm i not going to call out lurkers because I was told that you're not supposed to, but I, I see some lurkers, and thank you for stopping in, lurkers. Um, I haven't had lunch, so I think I'm going to uh, move on over to Alyssa Faden's channel and uh, raid her. Yeah, and uh, thanks for hanging out. I will keep this video up and I will um, I will export it to YouTube for safekeeping in case anybody ever wants to watch it. Um, yeah, City No, thanks for stopping by and thanks to the other people for stopping by too. Um, let's go. Let's go raid uh, Alyssa. <laughs> 